Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Poker Rogue. So, I sat beside myself. I really had to start thinking long and hard. What it is... What am I doing wrong? Like, I had such a good run, and then everything just fell very flat. And I just had to keep thinking to myself, what is it that I could be potentially getting wrong here? And I just kept thinking to myself, you know, maybe I'm just getting a little bit too mad. Maybe I need to chill out a little bit. Uh, maybe it is I just need to get a Chikorita. That's not even show. Okay, wait. It was showing a Bulbasaur, now it's a Chikorita. Okay. Um, also, before I go into what is is that I've been missing this entire time, um, internet's a little bit spotty at the moment. So hopefully we don't run into any massive issues. It's going to be a little bit hard to say. Anyways, let's get back to the IVs here. So yeah, Chikorita, you know, we could probably look to get that. But out of everything that has, you know, been working against me, you know, yes, I could just go and utilize a legendary. That's not going to be happening because deep down, I realized I was missing something this entire time. For Fro, you're coming back into the party. I mean, I, it just it, it has to be, it has to happen. For Fro is just absolutely 100% needed. Like, wh what was I kidding? Leaving For Fro behind this entire time. No wonder I couldn't get anything done. How could anyone get anything done without For Fro by their side? Anyways, we're going with For Fro. Uh, Tink a tank. I still feel I can be really good with Ice Hammer being a very strong move, and Berry Steel is still a very good combo. Um, let's see here. So we've got him as a shiny. And then we just get a, we just got a zoo bat as a shiny. Where is that zoo bat? Don't have any egg moves. IVs pretty good on special attack. Not super good on regular attack, but I mean, I could probably learn some good poison moves for it. Now, I don't know what it is about. I don't know if that's just because, I mean, if I really think about it, I did have, if this is the Poke virus, and that's probably something I am gonna want to have with me on the side. And then I guess we can just get a high because I do know that by adding, yeah, adding into the shinies, we can get some additional luck added to us. But the Poke virus gives me extra experience, which I feel like can really help as well. So we'll go with that. What is Rattata's? Man, that's like a top percent Rattata. With Hyper Fang 2, I guess we can try it. Might as well. Let's give it a try. Like, let, let's see if what we've been missing this entire time has been Fur Fro. Like that, the, the fur coat. It's what it's what we've been missing this entire time. Let's lure some in. Just gonna keep on going with the fur fro. Uh, do I really need X speed at the moment? I feel like it can help a bit. All right, any of these that I really care about catching? Not really. I was gonna say, watch I Ice Hammer already miss and just send me into a spiral. Uh, we can do Fairy Wind. Charm, huh? This is a harshly lowering, though, which I think would be pretty good. Let's give it to Furfro. And let's just have it lower some even more. Ah, no, did my internet already go out on me? There it is. The internet's been so spotty today. I really hope it keeps... Ah, no. Okay, I'm not going to be very happy if it's going to be this bad. But if it's only every so often, I'm not going to worry about it as much. 
Okay, Lumberry. Cures any non-volatile status condition and confusion, huh? Sure. We'll give that to Tinka Tink. Okay, Eddie with the Catapri. String shot's fine. Because I don't know... Yeah, like, even... Oh, it does not work. Okay. Works out for me. We can switch out to Furfro. Can take these hits like a champ. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's take the map with us. Ah, uh, would Purloin be worth getting, just being a dark type? Let's see here. Okay. Doing pretty good with that. I should probably use Astonish in case Cricket Talk gets knocked out. Oh wow, we got a flinch on that. Alright, let's try catching it. Might as well. Just to have a dark type for the time being. Lonely Mint, huh? Attack plus defense down. Ugh. And permanently unlocks the nature for the starter. But who would I... Who would I want to have an attack up but then a defense down? That doesn't really sound worth it. And maybe that's wrong. I mean, maybe Furfro could have a defense down just because the fur coat would make up for it. But I just don't feel like that's worth it. I'm actually going to go to Tinka Tink. Because Ice Hammer can get a one-shot. If it hits, obviously. Ooh, Giga Impact already. Yeah. Uh, we can get rid of Growl for it, because we got Charm instead. Alright, what's my rival supporting this time? Well, that's really lucky for me in the first start. That's actually just going to be kind of lucky in general, actually. That's not too bad. So we've already got Metal Claw. And then a Pidgey. Okay, so basically I just have to really hope that Ice Hammer never misses. Okay, not a bad start. That's just the Super Experience Charm. Okay. Light Screen. Could be pretty good. We can also just take like an next special defense for the next five... That should be good for whatever the first boss is going to be. Just to be on the safe side. Giga Impact. Doesn't Giga Impact make it then that the next move I will not be able to utilize a move? Alrighty, Lechomp. Yeah, okay, has to recharge. That's completely fine. Let's get a charm going. Just so we can take some hits a bit. It's gonna hit it there, that's fine. And let's just Giga Impact to finish it off. Not bad. It's all in the Furfro. It's all in the Furfro. So that one was just an experience charm, and we already have a super experience charm. I need to check on Chikorita, see if I did get the Pokevirus or not. Metal Sound. Partially lowers the target's special defense, huh? Hmm, how worth it is that? Who can learn that? Tinka Tink, I kind of figured. Is that really worth, though? Because I think it's going to be using more physical-based moves. Let's go ahead and just use Allure for now. Ah, uh, not too worried about that, no, but I do want to see. Yeah, okay, so the purple outline is the Pokevirus. Got it, got it. Okay, so let's see here. Let's utilize... I guess we can do Metal Claw. Look to take out Skullvet. 
not too worried on Centret. Just having these two out as a duo, having a steel and then fur coat. Uh, baby doll eyes, no, because we've already got a better version of that. Perfect. Ooh, five Ultra Balls. Ugh, protein, though. Feel like the protein's gonna be more important than Tinker Tank. Oh boy, here comes the slowdown again. Again, I apologize. This is probably gonna be Thing. Um, I do not know what it is that's going on with the internet at the moment. Uh, Spectrum is just, it's gonna be Spectrum. Unfortunately, that's just the end all be all, Zad. Spectrum's gonna be Spectrum. Nice, Rogue Balls. But, you know, as long as it, as long as it only does it every so often and not for too long, and hopefully doesn't full on disconnect from me, then we should be okay. Ah, oh, that's good. Tink a tink going on. Just so I can get rid of that accuracy lower. I still would like to have COVID, just in case if there's any item I want to try to steal. Oh, let's see. I don't think I really needed that. But let's go with an X accuracy just to dodge any possibility of stupid things happening. Like, now we can almost guarantee getting an ice hammer. Focus energy. Nah, don't need to worry about that. Getting some real experience going on now. I really do want to catch this thing. Watrell being a flying electric type, pretty decent. That would have sucked if I got actually paralyzed there. Grip Claw, huh? Yeah. Okay, upon attacking, the 10% chance the post-hell item will be stolen. Which I think would be good to put on Ticketing just so I don't have to use Covet. And I think, it, I don't know if it has to be a physical-based move or not. Um, I should have looked to use Potion on Tinker Tink first, though, but that's fine. We got plenty of money. We can do that in the next go-around. All right, let's go ahead and switch out so we don't take more hits on them. Scovit's got that high defenses. We can get two potions going on. Headbutt, beautiful. Uh, we'll just take that over tackle in general. The chance of flinching is nice. Poison powder, awesome. Let's see here. That's a 30% chance that a used berry will not be consumed, huh? Let's go ahead and get two potions going on there. Is that just in general or is that just a held item? Oh, it's just a general. Okay. Puccina, huh? Um. Not really something I feel like I really need to capture. Uh, let's add our defenses up a little bit. Young Goose, not really interested. I think also just having Furfro being a normal type with all these normal type moves really helps with getting through the first part again. I mean, I knew, I just, ooh, okay. Let's increase, I guess Tinka Tink again. Let's just make Tinka Tink our like, just resident badass here. And then we can use Metal Claw. But yeah, having getting things like headbun and even just tackle out of the gate, just getting the stab on of that off of that is just too good. Like I knew it. I, I was sitting there and I'm like, you know what? This is punishment for not utilizing fur fro like I should be. Memory mushroom. We don't really have anything that we've forgotten. Ah, uh, mud slap. I guess we can give that to Chikoritas just in case, maybe. Like, the only thing I could think to get is Lure, but I don't know if I... I mean, I mean, Mud Slap's okay, just not super great anyway, so I guess we'll go with the Lure. Alright. Cottony, huh? Well, let's just try and go for a full-on... Well, if we do... Let's just go for a regular Headbutt. Like, let's just try to get flinches if we can. Tail Whip need rock smash 
Yeah, I mean, it's a fighting move, which is always kind of good to have. But compared to everything else, I mean, I guess I could take it over COVID just because. But even then, COVID's just a stronger move in general right now. I don't think we need to care about that. Okay, another headbutt. Oh man, Furfro, I I'm sorry I tried going on without you. You you are just the best. Alright, grassy fields or a metropolis or the lake. I think I should go for the lake because I don't really have a water type at the moment. And Chikorita could do some damage here if I have any grass type moves, and that'll be good to get Chikorita up a bit. Even though, obviously, I don't know if Chikorita is going to be like a really good mainstay for me at the moment, but more than anything, it's just to try and get myself a bit of a water type here. Gives me a chance to really think about it for a bit to make sure. Low Tad might be worth getting. Huh. Okay, let's see, what kind of moves do I have on Chikorita at the moment? I do have Razor Leaf, which would be nice, but getting a low tad for a Ludicolo sounds even better right now. Uh, let's go with, I don't think it has anything, but we might as well go with this for now. Do not knock it out. Well, it's not a stab move, so. Okay. Um, I'm really worried about potentially knocking it out. Beautiful. Let's see here. Ooh, wow, these are really bad IVs, though. Ugh. Still, I mean, it's good. I mean, Lotash is, you know, getting Ludicolo pretty good. Shell Bell, huh? Hmm. Ducklet, I don't know what I'd utilize Ducklet for. Let's try and get Lotad. Oh, but the flying base type as well make it not as good. So let's actually instead... Let's go to Tinka Tink. See how good this works out. Like, it's not going to take a whole lot of damage. How good's Fairy Wind here? Decent-ish. Whoa! Water Pulse did quite a bit. Okay. Okay. I definitely want to Super Potion, and then let's go ahead and get Ice Hammer up a little bit. Ooh, Dupe Hider, huh? That might be another one worth potentially grabbing onto. Ooh, really high attack. Speed's pretty dull. Already has bite, water, uh, water sport, bubble beam, bug bite. Not bad. Um, yeah, sorry, Rattata. Okay, let's see here. Nugget, Super Lure. Yeah, let's do a Super Lure. As we wait for our internet to decide if it wants to continue living or not. Uh, so far, so good. Not too bad. Okay. Flamigo, huh? Is this any good? Okay, it being part fighting makes it a little scary. Oof. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna look to try and catch it. Maybe I should try with the road ball. Avoid any potential of getting completely destroyed. Max HP is pretty good. Man, not the great event. These IVs are not very good. Um, we'll take it over Purloin, I guess. I didn't see what moves it already has, actually. Draining Kiss over Fairy Wind. Thank you. Nice, nice. Even though the IVs aren't super great, we can 
We can make we can make something work with Ludicolo, I bet. Synthesis. Yeah, sure. Again, I don't think I'm gonna be I love Chikorita, but I think I'm just keeping Chikorita just to gain extra experience is probably really good. Uh free max potion, huh? Do I really need that for anything super badly? I mean, everything else, I mean, X Special Attack could be decent to have as well. Let's just use potions on everybody and let's get X Special Attack. All right, this usually hurts me a lot. Let's hope for the best. So we got Ivysaur. Come on. Nice. And good restore off of that. Attack Harshly Falling, not exactly the greatest, but we're just gonna go for another one of these. Beautiful, okay. So far, so good. Sweet Kiss makes it confused, right? That over COVID, maybe? Guarantee confusion could help me in some situations. Hmm. I don't know, not exactly sure. And apparently my internet's not fully sure either, as it's deciding. Man, I got Tinka Tink ready to go with all these held berries and items. All right, Pidgeotto. Oof. Okay, that's fine. It's not gonna hurt a whole lot if I hit that. Nice, wasn't a full one shot. Um, I guess, ooh. Oh, it just straight up used rest, huh? Did I miss Sweet Kiss or something? Well, that's fine. Uh, can I take it out? I mean, I gotta try and save some, but I should probably not take that risk. I've taken risks before with this, and it's always come back to destroy me. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, that should just be a straight-up one-shot. And he has a lot of HP, so I might actually gain a lot of health back. Brutal swing. I mean, I'm actually getting... I'm getting to a good point with Tinkating finally. Body Run violate to inflict damage on everything in its vicinity, huh? That's probably gonna be better than Draining Kiss. Let's see here. Restored by over half the damage, but if it doesn't do a whole lot, it's not gonna matter. The other thing is, would I rather have Brutal Swing over Sweet Kiss? Sweet Kiss only has a 75% a chance of hitting, which for me might as well be a 50-50 in so many instances. The fusion could be good, but I think Brutal Swing is better than potentially Confusion. I guess my internet didn't like that idea. I'm not exactly sure. But this is already going better. And we get a first evolution of Tinka Tink. We got ourselves a Tinka Tough. All right. Furfro was the answer. Furfro was the answer. We got Bayleaf. I do love uh, Chikorita. And I love Bayleaf. And I love Meganium, too. Aqua Ring, that's the one that, yeah, Bale, and it restores HP every single turn. Water Sport could be good too, though, but... Let's go with this for now. If I have to relearn, if I feel like I need to relearn it later, I'll go ahead and do it then. More experience all, which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and heal Tinka Tough a little bit. Chilling water, huh? User attacks the targets, uh, sharing it with water that is so cold it saps the target's power, also lowers their attack stat. Interesting. For a good old Lombre. I guess, well, I guess we'll just take that over Water Gun. Well, we can also take that over Growl. I don't think I'm going to utilize Growl. Okay, I really need to see what this Flamigo, what type of attacks it has. Being a fighting flying could be pretty decent. 
Okay, side, uh, you know, let's actually finally set out Lombre. So, Flamigo, what do we know about you? Oh, it can hit ghost types. That's pretty decent. Okay, target is struck. Okay, so we got wing attack, detect, double kick, and focus energy so far. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, some fusion. And we just healed all that right back up. Let's get Lombre going. Low kick, double kick, 30 twice over. Uh, focus, focus energy never really seemed to work for me. So we're just going to go without that. I was going to say, does Lombre have rain dish? Yes. Okay. Um, how much money do I get? Only 460. I don't think that's going to be super needed. So I guess we can just have lures going. Ooh, I mean, the other dew powder wasn't super good. Maybe I can look to capture this one, see if it's a better one. Uh, do I want to switch out the Lombre? Sure. Let's go with Flamigo. And then let's go with Furfro. And let's see here. We can wing attack because I want to get the dew powder. Okay. Lombre wants to learn Fury Swipes. Nah. It's fine. Okay. Uh, let's go and use the tech so I can get a headbutt without worrying about completely taking it out. Perfect. I should be able to capture it with a great ball. Let's see what these IVs are. Bolivian Aqua Ring Bite Water Sports. This one didn't have Bug Bite, which is kind of fine. So the defense plus nine, special attack plus 11. Okay, let's see here. So we've got 22, uh, uh, its speed is up, defense is low, okay. 22, okay, so 22, 30, 20, 29, 13. It's a level 17. Let me test something. Okay, yeah, I can read the summary on this. 22, 21, 19, 31, 14. Defense up, special attack down. I think the new one that I have is just a little bit stronger. All right, let's get some more great balls. Ducklet. Uh, to do, to do. Would I like to switch in this instance? Yeah, let's go with Perfro. Actually, I say let's get these flinches going. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Don't think I really need a rare candy. Protect could be useful. Just to try and scout moves. Who would I need to mostly get moves scouted out? I mean, mostly probably Furfro. And we'll just take that over Sand Attack for now. Just use it a little bit as a scout for the time being. Ooh. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I might as well capture him. Okay, well. I might as well capture him. Just so that I can get, yeah, better IV stats. So, yeah, like, it'll show the plot, the puzzle, the, the, like, the gained positives. Because I know that they start all at 10. I kind of wish it showed, like, negative compared to, like, what the highest stat you've ever had is. I feel like that would be a nice, you know, if you're listening to this, whoever's been working on this game, I feel like that'd be a really nice thing to have. Because I just know off the top of my head with Froglider and all the other starters, they all have a 10. So I know that it's like, okay, less on, you know, nine less on that, seven less on that, six less on that. 
but I guess it's just one of those where it's like, oh, you know, looks pretty nice. I don't think I'm going to take Fro Glider, though, because I think, um, I think Ludicolo is just going to be better. Being part grass. Oh, I mean, I could look to just have a crazy, like, Meganium that just is a screen setter. That could be a thing. All right, we got Bite now. Um, uh, Giga Impact's still kind of decent to have. I mean, harshly lowering the attack stats really good, too. Giga Impact's okay, but I think Headbutt, in my opinion, is a little bit better. I could be completely wrong. That could have been a horrible mistake that I just made. We will see. So we're going against a slow poke. I could potentially try to utilize Grip Claw to steal that from him. Would that be really worth? Eh. I guess we could just look to Mega Drain. Do I just want to take it out? Do I? Let me try one Great Ball, see if I can get it. Nice, okay. Huh, Slowpoke. Oh, do I want to take Slowpoke? It'd be good to have a Psychic type. Who would I look to get rid of? Because I got a Water Grass. I have a Water Bug. Taking a Water Psychic. I mean, I guess we'll just take it over Dewpider for now. Just to have a Psychic type. Would, would having a Psychic be better than having a part bug type? Is the bug I can use to deal with Psychic? What do I have that's good against Psychic right now? Pretty much nothing. I do have Crunch on Furfro. That might be worth enough. Hmm. No, we'll go without the Slowpoke for now. I don't know if that's, again, if that's a good idea or not. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. All I know is that we're further than where we've been in the past couple tries, so I'm okay with that. 